Yo, what's up on the car? Hey, what's up, brother? Man, it needs everything. <laughs> yeah, it, it needs everything, man. It needs carburetor, ignition, ignition box, fuel system. The linkage is all f***ed up. It's got a nice paint job, though. Yeah, it's nice. You know, um, what we're going to do is um, install a, um, a plate kit on it. Uh, it's got a 4150 on it. We're going to install a 4150 um, single plate kit. Uh, and go from there. Try to get this thing right for the customer. I'll get it. I'll get it fixed in no time. Shorty, handle it. You gonna get it fixed? Yeah, man. You want me to do it for you? No, I, I can handle it. Okay. Uh, I think you can work. Y'all know Mike, man. You know how Mike always do it. But uh, we gonna get started on it. Um, first thing first, what I'm gonna do is uh, take the carburetor off, um, install the plate, all the cylinders, get everything going, and um, y'all come back. Hey, how y'all doing again? This is Shorty with Cold Fusion again. Um, I'm going to get started working on this um, 74 Trans Am. Starting to put the nitrous kit on it. Like earlier, what I said I was going to do is uh, take the carburetor off first. Like Mike said earlier, that um, the carburetor had a few issues. So we're going to address them issues while the carburetor is off. Uh, put the plate on it and uh, just start taking the carburetor off and getting it ready. Okay, um, um, Albert, I took and repaired the um, carburetor, a little issue on the carburetor that we had. Um, so now we're going to just start putting it, um, the plate on it, the nitrous plate, and the carburetor back on the car. Okay, Always make sure you got the plate with the um, holes facing down, not up towards the carburetor. And um, that's that. So we're going to just put the carburetor on top of it and start bolting it back up. Yeah, you want to grab that carburetor? Okay, you can see that um, we got the carburetor back on. The plate is under here. The nitrous plate is on. This is the old HEI distributor. We're gonna replace this HDI, HEI distributor with a pro billet distributor and a blaster call. And um, also, we also have to run new fuel system. So we're gonna run a holly blue with new um, regulator, fuel regulator and everything. Okay, um, I hope y'all come back to finish, um, check us out finishing up this um, 74 um, Trans Am. Um, we already got the plate on, the carburetor back on. We mounted all the solenoids. You can see right here, I mounted the fuel solenoid right here with a bracket onto the carburetor right here. Got my line ran here. Also, if you follow the line back here, you can see where I mounted the, um, the fuel pump regulator. Um, which um, right here on this line down here is where the line gonna come back from the back where we mount the fuel pump from the gas tank and we're gonna run a line up to here for the inlet and this is going to your outlet on this port here on this way is where we're gonna use the, um, a flow gauge the flow the fuel system once everything is done to uh, set the fuel pressure flowing um, on the other side I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you where I mounted the um, nitro solenoid Okay, I'm on the other side. Like I told you, I was going to try to um, show you where I mounted the um, nitrous solenoid at. Um, if you look right here, I took and mounted the nitrous solenoid here. Um, right here with the line and everything. Uh, next thing I got to do is get this bad boy on the rack. And once I get it on the rack, I can show you what I'm going to do in the back um, to finish up the uh, fuel system. And we go from there. Y'all come back. Okay, the reason why I'm showing you this uh, particular part here is uh, to let you know the reason why I'm taking the gas tank out this particular car. Um, on the older cars like this, the gas tank is right underneath the trunk panel right here. Um, the customer want this uh, bottle right here. So what I'm gonna have to do is remove the tank, uh, mark where I want the hose drill, drill the hose for the bracket, then I can uh, put the tank back up. 
I just didn't want to let y'all know that you know every time you do a nitrous system or a fuel system for the nitrous that you don't you don't have to take the tank out all the time. So um, I just wanted to let y'all know that's why I'm taking the tank out this car here. Okay, it's time to lift this thing up in the air now. Okay, I got the car up in the air. Um, when I got under here, man, this is gonna make my job so much easier. The customer already had a uh, fuel sump welded onto his stock tank. This side is used for the uh, for the motor. This side here, I'm gonna use to run the nitrous fuel fuel system, and that's gonna just make it my job so much easier. But um, what I'm gonna do now is uh, drain the fuel out of this tank, drop the tank, drill a uh, four screws holes for the um, nitrous bracket so I can put that in. Once I get that nitrous bracket um, all drilled and bolted back in the car, put this tank back up and start running my lines and everything for the fuel system. What's up, Mike? <laughs> Money Mike, I call him. Eminem, I call him. <laughs> but that's it. So uh, I'm going to start draining this tank, um, the fuel out it, and drop it and get everything done. Y'all come back. Okay, um, hope y'all come back. Uh, as you look at right here, I have the bottle and brackets mounted in the car. Um, I drilled a hole back here where I'm gonna run the uh, feed line for the nitrous system from the cylinder up front up to the bottle back here. Um, also, um, what we did too is also, we got the tank back in the car. Uh, we ran, mounted the fuel pump. We got all the fuel system ran all the way up to the fuel regulator up front um so i'm gonna get this bad boy back up in the air run my feed line and then uh most of the nitro system be finished all we had to do is the wiring part there. peace lunch okay i just want to show you um a piece of copper tubing right here you look right here this is where the purge is at and um, on to the inside now. Okay, now we're in the inside of the car. Um, when the car came, the customer already had this little uh, switch panel made already. All I did is, uh, what we did is added our nitrous switch and our purge switch to it. Put a couple of labels on it for him so he know where everything at. And um, also what we did, we took and mounted the MSD box in the glove box. Nice tuck under here and everything so he still can put his meal or whatever he want put in his uh, registrations, whatever he need, insurance. Um, still have room for all that. And that's about it. Now we're going to do is take this little thing to the street and see what it does. Peace, I'm about to go burn some rubber. What's up, Mike? This baby ready to go? Man, she ready to go, man. Everything. Everything works good? Yeah. You got the purge hooked up? Oh, yeah, it's hooked up good. Did it work? Yeah, fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That shit fucking works slick. About to go to the street. 